Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Um, the weather has been rather cool recently in Kuala Lumpur. So today APA is thinking to make a soup and a spicy one. I'm not sure how many of you have tried this uh, uh, teh in Singapore. It's actually the Singaporean style pakute where you don't really have the herbal flavor instead you get the white pepper spicy taste it's actually a white pepper spicy broth spicy soup okay and it is very simple to do today i don't have bakut i don't have ribs with me but i saw um, in my uh, fridge i actually have some nice pork belly remember in Appa's kitchen there's no rule, okay? There's no rule in Appa's kitchen. Always try to improvise, uh, depending what you have in your kitchen. So I'm not using, I'm not going to use ribs today. I'm going to replace with um, pork belly. And the very simple ingredient for this soup is basically white pepper. Uh, I have approximately 50 grams of white pepper here. If you want your soup to be a lot more spicier, you can actually double it up to about 100 gram okay for one pot of soup and i have about five six cloves of uh, garlic here together with the uh, skin on all okay? right and here i have a tea bag later i'm going to dry roast my uh, white pepper and put it inside this tea bag so that uh, when i when i cook the white pepper in the soup the soup will not get too messy okay so first of all let's blanch our meat if you are using ribs 100% you have to blanch your ribs okay okay so why is it we want to blanch our meat it is because it will uh, any kind of red meat usually will come with some kind of uh, gaminess so the gaminess is usually due to uh, the excessive oil uh, sorry excessive blood inside the meat itself so blanching process you can actually remove the gamey smell so what you do here is you prepare one pot of cold water put in your meat okay then raise the heat until it is boiling the moment it is boiling done that's how simple it is okay i'm going to add a little bit of uh, Saoxing wine into into this okay so many people ask Appa why is it I have to uh, put the meat in cold water because many people tend to put the meat into the boiling water now the difference between the two is the efficiency uh, it is a lot more efficient if you put it into boil water uh, sorry cold water then only you boil it up the moment you choose to put the meat into the hot water, boiling water, uh, as the meat go into the boiling water, it will actually immediately form uh, the protein will actually get cooked outside the meat, on the layer of the meat, preventing the blood inside the meat to release. So then uh, by doing that way, your blanching process will not be very uh, successful. Okay, so use this way. While waiting for the water to boil, let's not waste our time. Get a smaller pan at the side and dry roast our pepper and also the uh, garlic. Okay, so dry roast meaning you are going to pan fry without using any oil and uh, keep on stirring this until you basically char or burn some of the surface of your garlic uh, by doing this it will actually enhance the flavor the fragrance from the garlic itself okay so keep on stirring this for a short while we will come back shortly okay as you can see from here while we are dry roasting our garlic and it is started to turn a bit darker the uh, the blanching water here is actually started to boil. 
and you start seeing some brownish bubbles coming up okay that is the uh, releasing the gaminess of this pot itself okay the pot is basically done i'm going to remove this and then uh, wash it under uh, running water okay let's continue with the garlic okay as you can see from here the garlic started to get burned okay this is exactly the uh, result i want to see you can even make it a little bit more darker but today uh, now i came back home a bit late today so I'll, it's okay i'm going to uh, take out this take out the garlic This will enhance the flavor of your soup. And then I'm going to lower down the heat. Okay. I don't want it to be too uh, hot. And we want to dry roast our white pepper. Okay. Lower down the heat. Then only you put in the white pepper. If not, the white pepper can also can actually get burned. You don't want to burn your white pepper. Just do this dry roast thing for about a minute or so, which is enough. Yeah, this is good enough to really bring out the flavor of your uh, white pepper. I can already smell. Super fragrant. Very peppery. So people, some people doesn't, un, doesn't realize the white pepper and black pepper actually came from the same tree. The only difference between the two is... Uh, oops, uh, it's a bit too hot. I'll raise, reduce the fire a bit. Uh, the difference between the white pepper and the black pepper is white pepper gives you the spiciness uh, black pepper usually gives you the peppery flavor so it really depends on what you are looking for for this particular dish we wanted the spiciness from uh, the white pepper okay actually this is good enough just off the fire and I'm going to let it uh, cool down before I put in it to put the white pepper into the tea bag okay i have three uh, big cups of uh, hot water here now boiling and here's my uh, white pepper i put it i changed it into a much larger tea bag just now the tea bag i chosen was too small okay so i put in all the all the uh, white pepper inside to this particular tea bag put it in and then my garlic Roasted garlic. Not to forget my meat. Yes, I'm going to put the whole chunk inside. <laughs> okay. Can you cut the meat now before uh, then only you put in to cook together? Can also up to you. It is now boiling as you can see from the camera and I'm going to close this with a lid tune down to the about medium low and let it cool for minimum 30 minutes then it is done uh, of course if you prefer the pork belly to be a little bit more tender you can slow cook up to uh, 45 minutes okay it's totally up to you okay my peppery soup has been uh, boiling under medium low heat for the past 30 minutes you can boil as long uh, as long as about even until one hour if you really want a much stronger peppery taste okay it's really up to you wow actually my whole house is smell peppery right now so the only uh, the meat is definitely cooked the only last thing I need to do right now is to uh, flavor it. Adjust the taste with uh, some salt. Done. Okay. And I'm going to squash, squeeze all this garlic out. This garlic, yeah, it's going to make the soup very nice. Just like exactly, this is a Singapore style pakut actually, but without the pakut lah. All right, 
So I'm going to put this uh, over to uh, a small bowl. Okay, oops. Let's assemble the soup. Our white peppery soup. This is some um, pork slices. I'm going to put in a little bit of uh, garlic from the soup itself. Actually, the garlic will taste even nicer than the meat. Try it out. I mean, Appa is a garlic person. Okay. And then let's add on the soup. Alright, and we are going to eat it with some chili padi. Okay, let me uh, zoom in for you. Alright, so here's my uh, pakut, Singapore pakut teh without pakut <laughs> with pork belly. Okay, my uh, white pepper uh, pork soup. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Apa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Apa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Apa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.